South Padre Island, located in the southernmost tip of Texas and only a few casts away from the Mexican border. With its pastel colored waters and abundant turtle grass, this Texas tropical paradise felt strikingly similar to the Florida Keys. But there's no bonefish or permit on these flats. Instead, we're after a few Texas coastal staples, redfish and speckled sea trout. Although I'm over 1,300 miles from my native Florida fisheries, I sure feel at home on these waters. Captain Jonathan Moss, presented by Florida Fishing Products. Luis, man, it is so good to finally get here and fish with you in South Padre Island. You know, we're both part of that DOA family. Yeah. And we talked about doing this forever, and now here we are actually making it happen. And bro, we got a beautiful morning. Good to have you, man. It's, we've been looking forward for, to this, and we've got a good, beautiful day. Sun's out, and I mean, we're you... still inshore fishing, but man, <laughs> I've never done anything like this before. Yeah. So I'm yeah. stoked to see how you guys do it here. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of the same, but nothing, I mean, not the same as Florida, but you know, Little similarities. I fished with a bunch of people in Florida, and got a lot of the big, big old grass flats and stuff. So, pretty sure you'll be able to pick up on it really easy. Yeah, man. Yeah. Let's do it. Should be fun. Let's go get them. Let's go find some fish. I'll throw a little DOA shrimp under a cork. See what happens right there. Welcome to Texas. Right. Beautiful. We literally pulled. Oh, wait, the dock's right there. Mm -hmm. And there's a huge school of black drum right out the back of the boat. There you go. There you go. Nice. Fish on, baby. Right on. Literally, the dock's right there. We just pulled away, dude. <laughs> Getting it started, Texas style. Yes, sir. I'm gonna run well, to the bow, bro. I might as well throw a cast out too, then. This Welcome is, to uh, Texas, South Padre Island. Economic, <laughs> economic fishing right here. This is how I save my gas. <laughs> <laughs> you know, gas it, prices have been rising so much, so you got to find spots close to the dock now. He's just trying to stay <laughs> right with the school. Yeah. I don't even want to force him to keep that rod tip up because I know dude, this happens at home a lot. We get yeah. the big drum out on the flats, especially like winter time for us. Yeah. And That's they'll hilarious. just, you hook one and they'll follow the school and they stay a in lot them. of times it'll come unbuttoned, but another will pick it up. <laughs> right, right, right. They'll be like, oh, what's that? Looks like a candy. See what that tastes like. And there's a pretty good sized drum too. Oh, good yeah. size one. Good one. He hit that, that Look, glow. That school just blew up right behind you. There he is, okay. 12 o'clock. That 5.5 glows. What, what's just happening? Just to the right of Old Glory over there, all perfect cast. Let's see if they want to eat. Sure they do. I want to see what that feels like. You're having, it looks like you're having fun over there. Oh, bro. <laughs> I don't I'm have anything so on my hook. Fun. I mean, you barely put the boat in gear. <laughs> I did. It's like, I think that fires them up, I think. They heard the Yamaha start up and, oh, there they are. There's a bunch of them right there. Fish on. Fish on, baby! Doubling up, first thing in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't get any better Look than that. Look at them all riding up high on the surface, too. Yep. Tons of them. I'll go under you. Yeah, we're good. There's like literally two, three hundred drum right there. This is a good way to get the pump going. That's a big boy. Big drum. That is an oversized for sure. These fish are literally dragging us around. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. And the guys on the dock are like, what are these dudes doing? Go grab a rod, y'all. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Big old, big ugly. I'm gonna Up tighten this drag shit. down on him a little bit. Woo. 
I got her, Luis. Got her to the boat. <laughs> yeah. Look oh, at this that. bruiser of a black drum. <laughs> That's a tank. <laughs> Big Ooh. ugly. Oh. Yes, sir. It came up she's, in months. She's all worn out. Look at mine. DOA. Oh, yeah. Got her on the neck there. We'll bring her around for you right here. Here we go. Woo! Yeah. That is a tank. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, man. Oh, there's your bruiser. One second. There we go. Got him. Woo! Oh, this is him. heavy. What a tank this is, huh? Oh, dude. Look at that, that's awesome. What a way Literally, to start off. the boat ramp is 100 yards away. It was closer, but these fish just drug us. Yeah, they've been pulling us around. Got my arm pumped up. I think I came up and munched those DOA plastics. Big old tank. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. I saw you hook up, I was like, I need to get in on that. One. Well, I think- I to have you, some fun with him. I think you beat me by an inch or so. Yeah, Let's get him unbutton. It's a tank, yeah. Back yeah. in the water, let him go, and then right. we'll, we'll go to where you wanted to go originally. Yeah, yeah, we'll go We'll go for the targeted species. This is just to warm us up a little bit. Yeah, I do. <laughs> She's still strong. Beautiful. Oh, squeeze in here. Oh, what a heavy fish. All right. Line by the tail. Yep. Listen to her drumming. Oh yeah, we're trying to locate the school again. There they are, she's kicking strong already. That's a big fish. Big fish. Look at the tail on. Oh, there she goes. There's yours. Ready. There she is. Right, see you, pretty girl. See you later. Thanks for the fun. Hi, right, so you want to go get breakfast That was now? awesome. Call it a day? Yeah, might as well. I mean, we just caught <laughs> 80 pounds of fish. Right? <laughs> First cast. Right on, man. That oh, was cool. Man. That was cool. Right, that was a good way uh, to start. Let's get out of here. Let's go find some trout. Figure out some trout and some redfish and yeah. uh, we'll have a slam. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> show you what South Texas is all about, my hey, friend. Hey, you just did show me what Texas is all about. <laughs> that was a good way, huh? Love sometimes it. it just makes you look good sometimes. Hey, that, Mother that, Nature. That was, uh, that couldn't have been any any better, dude. Let's, yeah, that was let's get Let's get to the spot. <laughs> yeah, that's what I call interrupting fish right there. The Captain's Log with Captain Jonathan Moss presented by Florida Fishing Products, is brought to you by Florida Fishing Products, Icon Coolers, Denko Flyers, Temple Fork Outfitters, Skinny Water Culture, and Go Castaway Fishing Charters. Uh, let's go with this, uh, the DOA Bobby shrimp corks. under a cork, yeah. We'll wake these fish up. See if they- deadly combo. Oh yeah. Nothing resists the DOA shrimp, my friend. This is proven bait down here. It's one of my go-to. Is that like a quarter ounce you got? Yep, got the quarter, the glow quarter on there. What do you think, like a pop, four or five second pause? Yeah, I like a good, good pop, and four or five seconds is usually what I do, just to give it enough time to get that shrimp to settle back in the water column. Where are we sitting, like four or five feet of water? Right here, we're about four or five feet, yep and there's scattered grass patches. There's, these trout are sitting in the grass or they're, they're following these big schools of mullet that are hanging out here. And uh, this, this cork will get their attention. So you wanna help them find the DOA shrimp and they'll take it down. That cork will disappear and you know it's on. Come on, I'm there on. There you go. Good head shake in there. Nice yes, trout. Sir. Better trout. Yep. Look at that. Right at the boat. Oh yeah. Right Good at one. the boat. Oh, that's a pretty one. Really you nice grab, fish, dude. Good job, Jonathan. Dude, I'll take that for a first <laughs> right Texas on, trout. Yeah. Come here. Good looking fish, my yeah. friend. Man, yeah, listen to that's, it drumming. Yeah, that's a slot one. That. That's a good one. And look how good clean. spots on him. Super clean and About the average trout right there. Probably about 17, 18 inches. Perfect. Still has his two teeth up front. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Chompers. Yeah. Good looking one. Heck yeah. Nice. Heck yeah. Well done, amigo. You, you keep fishing, bro. I'm gonna get this fish back yeah. in the water. Can't let you have all the fun. Gone. There she Deep goes. Girl. Nice. All right, bro. Well done, Jonathan. That's Heck what I'm yeah. talking about, bud. Heck yeah. All right. Let's, let's get, get home. Let's get some more. They're hanging. We'll see if there's more. We'll see more trout. bait hanging out. Yeah, it was a really good looking one. It's funny, we have like different, like, I mean, it's the same trout, right? But you get different genetics in them, obviously, and some of them have a ton of spots all the way down to the top of their head, like more like a leopard style. 
real pretty colors and some of them are a little more faded out like that. I'm gonna head over here to the right. That, big that looks spot? good over there. Yep, all that grass patch, that big old grass. You can see the boat's kind of pulling, it wants to go to the right wherever you face the bow, so it wants to go that way and we're sneaking up into that zone. Come oh, on. There you go. Come on. You felt that one. Come That's on. a good fish. Yep, keep the pressure on that one. Good, good fish, fish, dude. Well done, Jonathan. I swear, every time I'm trying to leave, you decide to hook a fish. Yeah, bro, when you tell the fish you want to move spots, they turn on. It happens it's, everywhere. That's like a... <laughs> It's like a thing fish do. Yeah, yeah, universal fish call. Good fish. Yeah. Can grab a net for you. Yeah, come up and scoop him up. It's a red fish. Oh, it is a red. <laughs> nice. Heck yeah. In the net. All yes, right. sir. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well done. And that right there yeah. is our slam. <laughs> we got this. That's right. Look at that. Pretty little guy. Two spots on the other side. It's my first red drum. Texas redfish. Okay. Came on Good looking guy. And Luis, like that uh, that trout, <laughs> it is really white. Being in that sand and yeah. those little grass pockets, but it's a little really more. clean. Mm -hmm. They blend in with this off-colored water here. Two spots on this side, one on the other. Pretty redfish. Blue in the tail. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna get it back in the water and see if we can stick another. Yep, let them get bigger. All right. See you later. Gone. Love it, dude. Got it. Heck yeah. Right on, buddy. All well dude, done. Your turn. You're We're next. catching it. Yeah. I'll get the next one. I'm seeing a lot more bait moving in here now. You know, if that redfish is hanging out, there's got to be some trout yeah, hanging yeah, out. Mullet. Just jump right behind you. That too. one's getting chased. Yeah. I'm gonna throw it right in that grass zone right there. Get him, dude. Get him, dude. Oh, bigger trout. Heck yeah, I'm gonna reel in so I can help you, you out. You got one too, no? No, no, oh, no I'm okay. gonna reel mine in. Okay. Feels nicer. Might be high. I watch that cork sink down. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I swear it goes from zero to 100 miles an hour. Sometimes you just get the blood pumping. A little bit of a better trout. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, he's fired up. I'm gonna try to shake this hook. Just... I'm ready for you, bro. Bring his head to me. In the net. Yeah. Yes, sir. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that one felt nice. God of a trout, bro. That's a good one. I like it. Yeah. Pretty fish. About another 19 entry, maybe. Close to 20 or something yeah, like that. I think, yeah. I think he got me just by an inch. So look, one, he's bro. got a little bit of a swipe right here on this side. Like something took a little chunk out of him. I tried to take a little bite. I'm gonna get it in the water. Yeah, we'll let, him, All right. let her get bigger. Good one. Going it goes. Somewhere. Right on. Another good one released back into the lagoon. Love it, dude. Awesome. Well Very done. Boring. Killer morning. That was cool. Killer morning. It's going really well. That was awesome. And now, the conservation challenge with Captain Jonathan Moss. Oxygen plays such a vital role to our fish and our organisms in the water. But the difference is, fish are breathing dissolved oxygen. Dissolved oxygen decreases with higher water temperatures and increases with colder water temperatures. So for that, in the summertime, it is so crucial that we bump up our gear because we want our fish to get to the boat quickly. When I'm fishing out on the flats, I like to grab 4,000. As opposed to a 25 or 3,000 series reel, I'm bumping up to a 4,000 with that medium heavy rod. If I'm gonna go after or target bull reds or larger snook, bumping up to a 6,000 with that seven foot extra heavy. Why, why is this so important? Going back to dissolved oxygen. You are, when you're fighting your fish, you are causing your fish to get tired, right? It's getting exhausted. Because there's less dissolved oxygen in the water when the water's hot, now they're super tired. You can't, the fish can't breathe. 
So, so crucial that we get that fish to the boat quickly and back in the water so it can breathe again and it can be released and revived healthy and strong. Because we want to avoid the fish dying from exhaustion. We want to avoid predation from birds, from your ospreys, from your dolphins, and from your sharks. So bump up that tackle is so crucial to our estuary, to our fish, that we're quickly getting our fish to the boat, reviving them, and releasing them due to less dissolved oxygen in the water during summer months. Fish on, fish on. That's the fish we wanted right there, bro. Yes, sir. On that two-timer, just came up and whacked it. Hammered it. Nice redfish, bro. Good job. Wanted that two-timer, huh? Got him fired up. Let me know when he's ready for a net. And he is nice and orange. See that different color on him? Good looking fish. And that darker grass. Yep, yep. Here he comes, bro. Here he comes. Good job, good job. Yes. Yes, sir. Good one. That's what I'm talking about, buddy. Heck yeah. yeah bro. Well done. Look at the fish. Pretty. He one just spot. came up and munched it. Bro. Did you see the weight come up and everything? Yeah. He yeah. came up behind it, sucked it in, and then off to the races good he time. went. Awesome, awesome. Good job. Right, Let's get a couple more. Yep. I think they're in here. We're seeing them push away. We've even bumped a couple just while we were releasing that guy. Yep, yep. There's, there's some more in here. Let's get them. a ton of them. They're eating. They're fired up. Oh, 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 oh. He got it. He got it. Ate it right at the boat. Right at right. That was awesome. <laughs> Ate it right there, dude. That was so cool. I saw him come up for it. That was awesome. Let me hop down, I'll help you. Pretty fish. Good fish. You came up for it. Was that awesome? That was what? so sick seeing him come up and swim, <laughs> and, was, and I just happened to turn and look, yeah. saw him come up, and you went, oh, oh, and boom. <laughs> that was awesome. He I saw ate him and flare took up. off. He flared up, I stopped it, and he, he slammed it. It was awesome. Stopped it right in his tracks, too. Oh, yeah, here he comes, here he comes. Got there he him. is. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Good one right My there. Man, yes. dude. Look at there. That Another was a pretty color one upgrade on Upgrade for you. Yep, yep. Bro, I think that is a great way. Good looking fish. To end this day. Yep, yep. Started out with those. Incredible black drum. That was cool. Moved out, tons yep. of nice trout, and then mm -hmm. finished the day off picking off. Good looking Just fish. A good mess of good looking fish. Another perfect man. fish, good colors on him, one spot on each Absolutely side. Absolutely. Got a bit of blue on the tail there. And you know, in the, in the different varieties of colors that we've had yeah. on these fish today, yeah, I yeah. still think that the, the more orangey they are, the, yeah, the, more the I, I like, love yeah. them when they're orange like that. I, I love them. What? Just, yeah. just shows how awesome this yeah. fishery is here it is. in South Padre, the lower Laguna Madre. Yep. Love it, brother. Glad you got to show you around here. That was cool. What a great ending to a great day, my friend. Yep. See you later. Good bro. fish. There he goes. There he goes. She was ready. Thank you. Awesome. Hey, dude. Woo. What a great what day. What a blast, man. We've been talking about this for a yeah. while. Finally able to get yeah. it done. Yeah. Killer day. Good day, man. I'm glad we, we were able to come down and, and experience South Padre like this. Now we like got this. a spot. We got to come and just go <laughs> pull around I need to. I need to. I'm going to hold you up to that for sure. Okay. I'll be up there. Awesome, man. Appreciate it. Thank you much, man. Good stuff. And now, the Tackle Vox tip with Captain Jonathan Moss, presented by Icon Coolers. So today here in South Padre Island, we were using a variety of DOA lures, but one that Captain Louis showed me that I've never seen before was this two-timer rig. This is a unique rigging strategy where it's similar to a popping cork where you have a top water, but you have following, trailing it, this jerk shad, this four inch DOA jerk shad on a quarter ounce jig head. Now the way this works is you're throwing out this whole rig and the top water plug, you're working it back and forth. And while you're popping it and twitching it, the jerk shad is trailing behind and it's doing all kinds of commotions. In the middle of the day, high sun, typically, you know, the, the top water plug's gonna get the fish's attention. They might not commit to it. I love using top water in like an early morning condition, low light, 
uh, or if it's an overcast situation. But when that sun gets high and there's a lot of bright light, this fish might not commit to this. So instead, having this create the commotion with the trailering jerk shad will get the job done. That lure is now going to hit the entire water column. The fish is gonna feel it, hear it, sense it, and then see this jerk shad dropping down in its face and come up and make the attack. This was a lot of fun. I'm super glad that he showed me this two-timer rig. I've never seen this before, but it, let me tell you, it caught some fish here in South Padre Island. When your morning starts with doubling up on giant black drum, you can't help but hope that the rest of the day will be spectacular. It may have set the bar high, but I just knew that things were going to fall into place for us. Drifting over the pristine grass flats of South Padre Island exceeded my expectations. Redfish and speckled sea trout have always been some of my favorite fish, and having the opportunity to catch them in Texas was something truly special. I may not have been deep in the heart of Texas, but today will always remain deep in the heart of my memory bank.